Well then, here we are. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to an episode of Bleeding Cherry and White. If I don't get turned into a Chevy Smoke Jump Road. <laughs> Warriors versus Hulk KR. Knockout rugby. Here we go. Winners take on Catalan Dragons at Old Trafford in a week. That is going to be one hell of a game. That was a close game last night. It, with the Dragons coming out on top with the last minute try. It was, uh, well, Dragons had two points pretty much close, well, halfway through, call it halfway through the first, the first half. Then in the second half, Saints pegged them back. Uh, Dragons just kind of like chipped away, chipped away, chipped away, and then got a last minute try to take themselves to the big game. Now then, can Wigan overcome Hull KR? Now, those of you who have short memories, Hull KR knocked us out of the Challenge Cup. So it's going to be a little bit of a grudge match and a bit of vengeance. Because, obviously, we're going to want to get to the big game and get our hands on that trophy. But, saying that, Hull KR are a good team and can get up here if you're not with it. So you do have to take them carefully but we should be able to get over the line should be in the optimum word there you should be able to get over the line i'm still going to say it's a close game i'm going to say a try in it both teams will get something i'm not expecting a nil in i'm going to expect this to be a close one a bit of an arm wrestle probably win it by a try i'm going to just go out on a limb and say it by four points just in case but hey we will see um hmm. do i really be brave enough to make a shout for first try uh misky sorry but i'm going for misky uh, yeah i don't know uh no i know uh brew and you're going to be watching so uh sorry yeah but yeah um this will be interesting you may or may not get a lot of updates because I'm probably going to keep it as short as possible, probably just do it at half time, um, like I have been trying to trail it in. There is just me, there is no co host. So I will see you in a bit. Pass! Oh boy, well that was wrong. <laughs> I said Miss Kitty won, no way. No way. Well, he's 150 years as well. Shan't be nice. But yeah. I thought it was going to be a tight game. Um, yeah, so far it's not looking that way. 18 6 at the half. We've been playing alright. Giving it away a bit too much sometimes. Being a bit stupid and being a bit sloppy. But just as it comes, Hull have got a really good turnout. I mean, you know, the noise coming from their end sometimes as well is uh, good. They always, they always seem to come here really well anyway. So one of them things but it's like four thousand four and a half thousand in uh, the away end where i am in, 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 uh, in the south it's pretty much probably about the same like you know near enough um, an absolute uh smush sorry but it's um very loud very passionate but a few lulls in the game where it has gone a little bit but you can tell both teams are trying to tell that they are pushing for it but a few times where we could have had the break, we just didn't take the, take the smart play, we didn't take it where we should have done really, but just the way it goes, I guess, before behind me. Uh, just good football. It is a shared stadium, obviously, so, uh, yeah. But we're doing well, we're doing well. Got another 40 minutes, big 40 minutes coming up. Basically, we now have to... We're going to be uh, running towards us, so scoring towards our side. So the noise when they come towards us is going to be even louder, and it is going to be top notch. It is amazing. This is one of the biggest games I've been to. It means a lot to a lot of people. Plus, with Saints not being there now, at least it's guaranteed to be 
another name on the trophy and not just a continuation of that Saints dominance. Anyway, I think I will wrap up after the game. So I will see you later. Pause. Get in! On to Old Trafford, we will stroll. 42 to 12 victory. There goes all of my predictions of a close game. That was nay close. That was going to be a thrashing all the way. First scorer, nope, that was never going to end up being this game. That is how you get into the final. Superstar, rock star, rugby. Yeah, there was a few things that did go wrong. There wasn't, it wasn't all that clean. There was a few mistakes made and a few kind of, you know, like heat of the moment decisions that really, instead of like, you know, kicking between the legs that he should have passed it, there was a wide open space on the left rather than on the right. Could have passed it there few tackles broken and missed but hey you can't complain when you're on the way to a final can you anyway that was amazing you just can't complain about that now then so now comes the next challenge for me getting tickets for the final which will be uh, an interesting run sure I can find some I don't know where I'm going to be sitting, but I'll try to see if I can stay as close to the Wigan end as possible, <laughs> obviously. But this is going to be an interesting one, because uh, I'm not sure how many are going to come over from France. So it's probably going to be a lot of people who are going to be uh, more than anything neutrals going against us in that final. So uh, it's going to be very, very, very interesting, to say the least. And I will put old man Whelan behind me for a moment. Yeah, I'm squinting because the uh, sun is absolutely blinding me because it's quite low. But hey, anyway, this is definitely going to be uh, an interesting game for the rest of it. This is going to be interesting. You're unlucky on that one. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sometimes you're going to have a bit of banter with fans. But yeah, it's going to be uh, an interesting run because I'm not sure how many are going to be over there. And uh, Well, Old Trafford is, uh, what, a 70, 75,000 seat stadium? And here's only a 25 and we just managed to pack in just over 15,000, including about 4,500 Hull fans. So uh, yeah, that was uh, good rockers fun good noise anyway before I go get me scran I'm gonna sign out for those of you who were expecting this to have been the substitute Saturdays sorry that's going back in the week because uh, my educational course has finished so uh, my uh, usual programming will resume and then if I've managed to gain tickets which um, I'm sure I will find a way to 
there will be a double upload next week because there's going to be something from Jan Centre and then um, everything to do with the final probably on Sunday because I'm probably not going to have enough time to go to the game and scratch upload this mofo so anyway I will see you all another time now I am going to go feed my face with some uh, bell of the taco or taco bell so I will sign out don't get too stressed life is only what you put into it see you star side peace out and goodbye